In this lesson, we will review the extensor muscles that are destined for the thumb. We'll start by looking at a simple line drawing of the right hand from a dorsal vantage point. And we will focus at the base of the thumb. There are three tendons that extend from the forearm into the thumb. The first one is the abductor pollicis longus, which is seen here going to the base of the metacarpal of the thumb, APL, sometimes abbreviated, abductor pollicis longus. This produces the motion of abduction of the thumb. Pollicis refers to the thumb. The second muscle, which has a tendon that goes to the thumb, is the extensor pollicis brevis, as seen here. The tendons run together, but the extensor pollicis brevis extends all the way up to the base of the proximal phalanx, sometimes abbreviated as EPB extensor pollicis brevis, and this extends the thumb, as the name suggests. The third tendon of this group is the extensor pollicis longus, which is seen here, and it extends up to the distal phalanx, as shown here, EPL, extensor pollicis longus. Note that each of these tendons have actions on different joints, depending on which joints they cross. So the abductor pollicis longus affects movement only at the carpometacarpal joint, whereas the extensor pollicis brevis has additional action at the metacarpophalangeal joint, while the EPL, or extensor pollicis longus, has its additional role of extending the IP joint, or interphalangeal joint, of the thumb. These three muscles and tendons can be seen very nicely in a cadaver dissection, and so the next image here is a photograph of the right hand, the base of the thumb has been dissected, and we can clearly see these three tendons. The first one is the abductor pollicis longus seen here, APL. And it extends here up to the base of the metacarpal of the thumb. The second tendon is the extensor pollicis brevis, which is seen over here and abbreviated as EPB. This tendon is a much smaller tendon in comparison, as can be seen in the photograph, and the tendon goes all the way up to the base of the proximal phalanx. And the third tendon, which is a separated tendon, has a slightly angulated course, is known as the extensor pollicis longus, or EPL, as seen here and this is going all the way up to the base of the distal phalanx of the thumb. Within this space, on the lateral side of the wrist, one can see a structure, an important structure, which is the radial artery. This is where the radial artery comes from the volar or palmar side of the wrist and has an oblique course crossing around the lateral side of the wrist joint and ultimately is destined for the deeper part of the palm of the hand. The radial artery has an important relationship in this area and is important for surgical procedures as well as for injuries that might occur in this area. This particular anatomical area is often referred to as the anatomical snuff box. This is an imaginary space which is bounded by the extensor pollicis longus on one side and the tendons of extensor pollicis brevis along with the abductor pollicis longus on the other side. 